going on today is Plymouth Argyle versus Sheffield Wednesday. Tough opponents at home park coming coming from up the country. Um, previous results against Sheffield haven't played them since 2011, so it's been a very long time. Uh, 5th of March on 2011, we, we beat them 4-2 uh, away from home. Before that, on the 18th of September 2010, we beat them 3-2 at home park. A result like that today would be surprising, but very nice to have. Um, and then on the 30th of January 2010, we lost 2-1 again away. Obviously, Sheffield, they've come down from the Championship. They're way too big for this league, I believe. Uh, and I believe they will get promoted this season. But they currently stand fourth with 10 points. Their previous games, they come into coming down to Home Park after a 1-0 loss away to Morecambe. Before that, a 2-0 win on the road again to Rotherham. And before that, a 1-0 win at home to Fleetwood. While as with Argyle, we stand 14th with 8 points. Coming to this game after a 1-1 draw with Fleetwood. Before that, an impressive 3-0 win with uh, struggling Shrewsbury away from home. And then... Before that, one one with uh, one one draw with Cambridge at home park. Argyle signing MK Don's former striker Kieran Agard on a short term deal. Obviously a free agent, so Argyle could have nabbed him. It's a very good signing. Be probably nice to see him come on off the bench today. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if he did uh, come on in in the final ten. But I'm gonna head off to the ground now. Uh, I'm going with a with a two two one today. Argyle, I'm confident going into it. Um, but yeah, I'll see you at the ground. Come on, you group. I'm on route to the stadium now. Um, obviously Sheffield, they're going to bring a big, big away end today. Probably the biggest we might see this season, other than, other than from teams like Pompey and Sunderland, who support, uh, is on the same level as ours, I'd, I'd say. Um, but my score prediction, like I said, 2-1. Could be the return of Danny May on the bench, I heard. Um, and, and could be the... The, the first appearance of Kieran Agard if he does come on off the bench. Like I said, I said 2-1. Uh, Dad, what score prediction are you going with? 1-1. One, 1-1, one. One, one, see a draw to these types of teams. It, it, it's a point where it's more taking two points away from them. Uh, Sheffield being a team that's going to be looking for that, for that automatic promotion and should probably get it. Um, but yeah, no lineups are out as of yet, but nice to, to see. Uh, Kieran Agard and Danny Mayer to be seen on the bench. George Cooper might appear on the bench. I uh, know he's recently returned from injury. He's been playing quite well. Um, Cooper to obviously start and go, I'd imagine. And then the, the back three to stay as usual. Um, so I'll see you when we're at the stadium. Come on. You
are controlling the game uh, surprisingly. Uh, Sheffield, the fans have been great, I can't lie. Uh, a bit quiet since Harbour scored their second. Um, but uh, the players haven't really controlled anything. Very minimal chances, Cooper's uh, dealt with nicely. But Harbour played very well. Um, I don't think you can hear it, but Sheffield fans are booing the players as they walk in. Um, they played very well, Edwards on fire, scored a good acrobatic goal.
full time now, walking back to the car, 3 0 result in the end. Very good result, um, positive. Obviously, Argyle outshone than what probably most people expected. Uh, good to see Ryan Law get on the score sheet, obviously, coming on for Connor Grant. Unfortunate to see Joe Edwards come off so early. He was my man on the match today, um, obviously, scoring that, that, that bicycle kick. But yeah, now we go on to Wimbledon away. And now, from, from my perspective, beating Sheffield Wednesday, who are probably up there as league favourites, uh, we, we should go on and win that. So hopefully, I'll go get the three points. Come on, you greens. Get on, Argo.